Hello, uh, my name is Mark C. Strand. I'm the director of the Entrepreneurship Institute here at Utah Valley University. And I, uh, it's my privilege to talk about goal number eight of the United Nations, and that is to promote inclusive and sustainable economic growth, employment, and decent work for all. And I, I love the, this topic because obviously working in the entrepreneurship arena, we're very much uh, interested in growth and development of existing jobs and as well as new jobs that are associated with it. Uh, the, the objective of, of goal number eight, I think, has four, four or five different categories or components that are a part of that. And I've been really impressed in terms of how Utah Valley University, as, as well as the business school, has been involved in, in several of those aspects. So, so the first one uh, for me is the inclusive nature of the education and of what U Utah Valley University is doing. The inclusiveness involves um, a wide open academic uh, enrollment. I love that Utah Valley University is a completely open enrollment. As long as you've graduated from high school, you're able to enroll in college and to be able to pursue some education. And to me, that really opens the door to a lot of individuals, a lot of uh, people in different categories of their life to be able to come back to a university and to be able to get some additional education. I think it is that education that helps to really contribute to a vibrant economic growth and, and economic development here in the Valley to have so many different avenues to choose from. I also think that inclusiveness also, uh, typically when we think about University students are typically younger, which most of ours are. However, we also have a lot of students that are returning or they're kind of coming back to school after being in the workforce and realizing that I need some additional skills or some additional uh, understanding. So that desire to learn and to acquire new skills. From an entre entrepreneurship standpoint, it is very inclusive that anybody with a good idea or that has identified a problem that would like to work on that problem and try to build a business around that, our doors are wide open to help those students and those individuals to try to really build their, their own business. There's nothing more gratifying to, than to take a problem that is bothering a number of individuals, figure out a solution, and try to build a business around that. That's, that's a really fun part of the economic growth. And Utah Valley University is working hard to help uh, be as inclusive as we can. The, the other aspect that ties in with that is the aspect of sustainability. And, and I look at sustainability from a number, a number of different scenarios. One is that when we start a business or when we're, we're working with different businesses on the employment and the economic uh, front, it's how do we help them grow and how do we help them develop and how do we help those businesses adapt to changing times and changing technologies. You know, the, the powerhouse companies that were prevalent 15, 20, 30 years ago, many of them are no longer with us. They have, they have since closed their doors or there have been new technologies and new advancement. So part of sustainability to me, to me and, and to where we're at at the business department is how do we keep it current? How do we continue to keep an eye on new technologies and new directions that are coming and how do we help in, incorporate that into the education part so that our students coming out are learning new and current and vibrant skills that can then go into these existing companies and help them to grow and to develop and to take advantage of these new trends and these new opportunities because they are current and because they can help those companies solve that problem. So sustainability from that standpoint really comes from how do we keep companies current? How do we help them grow and evolve with the changing times in technology? But I also think the sustainability factor also plays with the education side that me personally or, or the individual student needs to develop job skills and thinking processes and, and a framework on their own value that is sustainable throughout their lifetime. Uh, that's again part that, that I love here at Utah Valley University is that we will see students that are here coming back to get their MBA that are in their 40s and their 50s. We see people coming to get certificates in certain skills on project management, on computer-related skills, 
on a variety of issues, on, on even learning how to do better English and better writing. Those are skills that over the years you continue to need to stay current and stay fresh. So to me, the sustainability is not only how do we help our economy stay current and sustainable, but it's how do we help individuals keep their lives and their skills and their perspectives current and sustainable throughout their lifestyle and throughout their lifetime. So that, that's how UVU is working to help improve and enhance that sustainability is by offering certificates, a large variety of classes, the open enrollment, that it doesn't matter what age you are, come back to school, get current, learn those skills, and then go back and use those skills in the jobs that, you, that you're at or in the businesses that you're creating to help continue to grow the, the vibrant economy. So that was the second part. Is that, you know The first part is the inclusive nature. The second part then is, is the sustainability. And then the third part is employment. And, and those previous two really tie into the employment aspect. But one thing that I think Utah Valley University does to really help from the employment is to better integrate or to give students hands-on experiences with potential employers or solving existing problems that exist in that work environment. And they're incorporating that hands-on learning with the book learning and the skills that are learning with their classes. To me, that's a very powerful aspect of helping to grow that employment and that development. So for me, the aspect of the employment growth is not only about helping our students find good jobs that exist, but even more so helping to create new ideas and new businesses. And it, isn't there something amazing that we'll, we'll teach our students, okay, now that you're ready to graduate, let's help you polish up your resume, let's help you make those connections with the companies that you've worked for, let's help you get those full-time jobs. But what e what's even more fun is when they go out and say, hey, I'm graduating, I've started my business, I need to hire five or six of my classmates to come and help me build this business. That is part of how you create the employment and how you get that excitement with the economic growth that, and then the employment growth that, that takes, pay, takes place from, from that standpoint. So I, I love the diversity in the university. I, I love the different categories and skill and expertise. I love that students can work together on solving problems and ultimately work together to create businesses that then also create jobs and excellent economic opportunities here in Utah Valley. And then I would say the last aspect of the goal that, that we're working, working with is to have decent work and decent uh, appropriate jobs for the individuals. And I'm thrilled that in doing that, as you, as you continue to learn those work skills and apply that, that, then that prepares you for other jobs that become even more meaningful for your, for your talents and for your skills and for your passions. So those are the four, the four areas where Utah Valley University is, is trying and working to help engage with our economic growth here. You know, the, the, the inclusive nature, the long going sustainability of not only the businesses and the companies, but the skills of the, of the student and the employee, the, the employment jobs and the opportunities there in either working for something that you love to do or creating your own passion in your own business. And then finally, applying those direct skills in a work environment that can be viable for you, that can help to really generate that nature of sustainability and employment that allows you to, to continue to be a, a really uh, effective part of the company that you work for and the organization and the community here as a whole.